I have to throw a lot of punches. Hook. Historically, he has been able to do that. Round one, and we're underway at Frisco, Texas. Here is effective as was at 112 and below. You know, he won his title against Carlos Cuadras. That was... But that's why I love this matchup, Sergio. Again, that is a young, fresh Calify. But you're thinking, well, looks a little older. Maybe he's done. I agree with Chris Maddox. That was a very close, it was a majority decision that first dropped and drilled. Now they start to trade, and Calify smiling, looks comfortable. So Platito digs. I don't think that's the right strategy in the first round. And you're making things better for Gonzalez, no doubt, as he wings in. Safai got hit with a hook earlier in that round. As he is elected to stay in and trade, what did he say to you? Well, he was disappointed, obviously, with the scorecards. He thought he at least deserved to be ashamed of. Jay Harris was terrific. Julio Cesar Martinez defends his world title at 112 pounds. Good action here, Chocolatito. It's Israel Gonzalez. It was not a very good performance. He looked much better in his lap. But again, Chocolatito is 32 years old. He's not 30. If I sound defensively, keeps those hands down low. Looks like I got hit there, though. Chocolatito and Yafai is bothered by some between rounds. All but begging him to stay on the outside and out box. Mm. How do you have it scored, Chris? I split the first two rounds. Clear second round for Chocolatito. Got on the inside, landed combination. That he's doing very well. But Yafai must feel confident moving, dancing, good amateur style. It's a good hook to the body by Chocolatito. And a combination. Active. Just a would be Yafai again. It's already happened once. And those are the shots that are landing from Chuckle. Good point, Steve. Hall of Famer Steve Smoger yeah. with us throughout the night. It's been excellent this side and getting respect doing it. Good right hand there by Chuck Latito as both men trade. Well, Yafai is, he is stuck. Stand in front of Chuck Latito and trade. Not stand on the outside, not use the wheels, not box. That's the way that, say, Oscar De La Hoya was for Manny Pacquiao. Or, to a lesser extent, Bernard Hopkins was fighting a legend in Chocolatito, but he knows this is the big name on his resume that he... Attention. You point earlier, right? It's kind of a no-win combination. Oh, you fire right there and getting some really good shots in. In angles. Just like that right there. Chocolatito now by having a signature win against Chocolatito Gonzalez. I think this is a very good version of Chocolatito. It goes back to the weight, though. I just don't think Chocolatito is as effective. Certainly his power is not as effective as it was. He, I asked him, why is Jafai not using his distance? He says, well, Chocolatito is good. He no. wants to fight with his hands up, and look, he's going toward Chocolatito right there. Keep Chocolatito off of you, so moving around the ring may be a little tougher than we think. I don't know. If Chocolatito is good doing this. This is where his best chance to win comes. I agree. Jafai that Olympic pedigree. We know that he can box. He's a boxer puncher. Why is he giving Chocolatito a chance to land? I think that is that what Luis Pabon was just saying? He pointed to his head. I think he was looking over to the commission to see the way it has gone so far. Wow, Chocolatito power punches. Whoa, Chocolatito punch. One of the best volume punchers in boxing history. Right. Seems somewhat questionable. Is just trying to impose his will and his uh, physicality on the smaller Chocolatito. I don't know if it... Good body shot there by Yafai, but he eats a right hand. And Chocolatito is to sneak over the right hand just to break you in half and come up with a left up because of the chin. And to Chris Maddox's point earlier, that was a good body shot by Chocolatito. be very different. Good uppercut there by Chocolatito. He's having success now. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I don't like the body language. Right in front of Chocolatito. Gonzalez bends and buries a hook. He's emphasis and power. More power to him. He digs in a good body shot. But it's making this a very competitive. How close do you have it so far? And Chocolatito started to pull away in these last few rounds. Sergio was in last fight with Julio Cesar Martinez and Jay Harris, which was slugger versus boxer. It turned into a slugfest. How many shots are landing? How many have you thrown? And you're trying to digest how much damage each punch did? It's difficult to impossible. And Cal, you five body language. You're backing up. He looks a little, little weak right now. Yeah, he does. His eye is closing up a little bit, too. That eye is swollen. And we are beginning to see a bit of a breakdown from Yafai. Lunges forward and misses with a hook. Good sharp jab, misses with a right hand. Yeah, Yafai now a little out of rhythm. You know, if both guys are going to throw three, four punches, five punches at a time, Sergio, 
I think. Rounds, by the way, fellas. Chuck Latito has outlanded Kalia by 52 to 21. There are a lot of possibilities. Kalia 5 will still have a big say in that. Beautiful combination by Chuck Latito. He said he wanted the edge. He wanted to feel fear. Right hand by Chuck Latito. Snaps the head back of Yafai. Yafai getting beat some time. Chuck Latito comes in for the kill. He has been here so many times before, and down goes Yafai. Yafai has been beaten down, and he'll escape. Not only should should the corner be concerned, but it looks like Yafai. Oh, down corner. goes Yafai. The champ is back. Chuck Latito has a title belt again. Roman Chocolatito.